actually a dark place. I'll never forget when I actually got took my spirit out of my body the first time. I actually saw what the veil, what it looked like behind the veil. It was painful coming out of this flesh. A, I learned that there was actually a veil. There's different levels of veil. There is an atmospheric veil. And then there is a veil on your eyes. Amen. This body, this soul is a veil. I woke up one night in the middle of the night, and the hands of the angel of the Lord came across my head. And began to pull what felt like skin off of my face. It was painful. That's how I knew it was real. It wasn't a dream. It was painful. And I felt something peel off my whole face. And when it peeled off my face, I sat up. I could hear the radio playing, but... I looked around my room, and the room looked different. It was the same room, but it wasn't the same place. I sat up in my body, and I looked around, and it was dark. I could see my desk. I could see my bed. I could see. I looked behind me. There, there I was, my body. I was still laying down, but I'm sitting up. Somebody say spiritual things. And so... I'm looking around my room, and it's all kind of, it's dark in there. There's a demon standing by my notes with a gray cloak on. I couldn't see his face, but I could see the figure standing there. And there was a hand flipping pages, was reading about me, reading my teaching, reading my notes looking at what he was a monitoring spirit. Amen? These demons were released into the region at that time. This was the time when Carlton Pearson fell from his place. Amen? So, there were demons of confusion and demons of false wind uh oh that were scattered one of them made its way into my bedroom was functioning under the portal a witch had opened can i talk to someone so i'm sitting up in my bed i'm like 20 years old sitting up on my bed watching these things happen and then I see it's dark. I look outside, it's dark. I look, it's dark, it's dark, it's dark. I'm in the spiritual realm. In this realm, it's dark. And then I see a light coming from the corner here. I turn, shoop, and there's Jesus standing about 30 feet away. And it's almost like he's standing on air. Because you can see in the spiritual realm, the walls, they look different. You can see through. It. You can see like that wall is 10 feet but you can actually see something through the wall. But the Lord Jesus was standing 30 feet in a 10-foot room. It's hard to explain. It's just a different depth of perception. Amen. So I'm watching the Lord Jesus, and he's talking, and I can't hear him. The demon begins to turn the direction of the master and didn't know I could see him and I could see the Lord. But he began to throw his voice like a ventriloquist over the Lord Jesus. And the Lord said to me, don't you know some people think they're hearing my voice, but they're hearing the voice of another. I went back into my body. I woke up. I looked in this. The lady's house that I was staying in as a student. She was crouched by the door, making an incantation. She opened a portal to let him in. 
she passed herself off as taking in Bible students. And she was casting spells on the students in her house. Isn't that crazy? Oh, boy. I said, hey, what you doing? She said, I'm just praying for you. I said, the devil is a lie. God already revealed your operation. He already exposed you. It's too late. 